and welcome to my first video on YouTube. I should get a round of applause. Um, in this video, you will be seeing my natural hair journey from 2017 to 2019 until now. Um, this natural hair journey has definitely been a rough one, but we're overcomers, you feel me? So I hope this video becomes an inspiration for you to continue to pursue your natural hair journey and to have healthy hair, to care for your hair, and cater your hair, and all that good stuff. So without further ado, we're going to start this video and I'm going to stop talking and I hope you guys love it. Do not forget to subscribe to Fifi's TV and like and comment below on this video. So my hairstyles in 2017, y'all, I definitely was rocking the straight look. That was my signature look for the majority of my natural hair journey. Um, everyone knew me, knew me at that time. I would always get my blowouts, but eventually I got over the straight look and I purchased my first half wig. I didn't really know what I was doing with wigs at the time, but I was just trying to get into it just to see what fit me and what I was what I like basically but under them wigs was a lot of heat damage so then I decided to switch it up again and mini chop my hair my hair was very short at the time but I didn't really care for it I just wanted to like start over with my process after my mini chop I decided to purchase a second half wig was trying to get into it and I was also trying to do protective styles so I ended up doing a sleep bun look which I felt that that style fit me pretty well it was pretty hard to do but you know I made it happen um, after that I did a couple crochet looks this was my first time doing a curly crochet and I was definitely into this like this was a whole vibe for me and it was just a start from there just to do other styles in crochet form so after my crochet look, I decided to give myself bangs with a little bun. I was rocking that look for a minute. I was definitely scissor happy during this time period. Um, and because my hair was so short, I would attempt to do twist outs or braid outs um, with the awkward length that I had. So then my birthday comes around and I decided to straighten my hair, doing a lot of on and off protective styling, even though the length was just kind of awkward for me. And from there, I would just kind of wear my hair straight. Um, during the summer, my best friend got married, so I had like a sleek ponytail lay look, um, and I was rocking that for a good amount of the summertime. And when I finally decided to take it out, you can kind of see in this picture here the damage that I kind of have at the ends. Even though I had damage, y'all, nobody could tell me that I could not straighten my hair, especially towards the fact that I was getting some length. So I was definitely feeling myself, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I eventually I got over the straight look, so I decided to wet my hair. And in this picture, you see that I have curls, but my curls aren't really giving off perm curl vibes. Like when you first get your perm and you wet your hair and it has that little wavy look to it. Um, my hair was definitely damaged though after I straightened it, for sure. After that, I did a high puff. You can see in the picture the damage that I still have in my ends. I was heading back to school, so I decided just to do the sleep bun look since I felt like I succeeded in that look. I tried to switch it up to do a half up, half down type of vibe, trying to do more natural um, hairstyles. But slowly but surely, I went back to doing crochet. So I did my first ever crochet full locks. And when the new year began after doing my crochet, I decided to do a half up, half down um, with a different curly texture here of crochet. And I was rocking the curly crochet for a good um, amount in 2018 that I was doing. Um, I was still having the heat damage in my high puffs, even with certain looks I had. You could clearly see the damage, y'all. My damage was bad. After that, y'all decided it was time for me to let my hair go. It took everything in me, but I was just, I couldn't look at the damage anymore. So I decided to start rocking head wraps with leggings and I think this was a very creative look for me. I didn't have head scarves or anything to head wrap my hair so I was like why not do it with leggings and I definitely recommend this as a protective style for anybody that wants to use it. Under all those head wraps, this is the progress that I made so far with my hair. I was so happy with it, trying to be confident and now you guys are going to see the different type of hairstyles that I did for 2018.
third time is a charm y'all this was the last time i was gonna do this to my hair and get it straight in and have so much damage because of it i love my hair color but my curls all the progress that you just seen just went out the door um so i tried to revive it by doing twist outs with the damage and it didn't look that bad but it still wasn't that healthy i was maintaining that and just continued to do that as much as i could and i was wearing wigs and my curls slowly but surely was getting back to its state even better than before it was growing the curls were looking healthier fluffier bouncier um they were just working with me and then i did my first blowout my hair looked so big i was so happy and i just continued to do protective styles from then